Hello, friends. Welcome and Happy New Year. Oh, we made it. Y'all, we made it. It's 2024. Uh, try to contain yourselves. I'm going to try to contain myself. <laughs> uh, I hope you all are well and had a lovely holiday season. Um, I certainly did. The New Year's was not as I expected it as my hubbo ended up testing positive for COVID right before the weekend. So it was New Year's at home for us. <laughs> you know, that's never the worst for an introvert, but we were looking forward to spending some time with um, our friends, Andy and Christy, and that didn't get to happen, of course. Um, and we didn't get to go see some family we were going to see, but you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he was hardly sick. He felt like he had a cold for a couple days. And then by the time he tested positive, the symptoms were mostly gone. So we were basically just quarantining. And he really likes to cook. So he cooked up a lot of good food. <laughs> Yay me. <laughs> um, yeah, we ended up doing some unexpected projects, like ripping out our whole pantry to uh, redo that. So, you know. Um, you just roll with the punches. That's where I'm going with that. Thank you, Julia. This is um, a newish acquired coat that I got from uh, my last Stitch Fix. It's really heavy and lovely warm. Like it's not super thick, but like the heft of it, it, it goes like mid thigh um, and it's reversible. So it is part wool. Um, so it's like a, a finer plaid on this side and then a, bol a larger plaid on the other side. So, um, Thank you. Yes, I'm enjoying wearing this uh, this winter season. Volleyball, club volleyball is about to start uh, for us again. And the tournament location in Salem is notoriously cold. We call it the icebox. It literally is just unheated. And we just sit there and freeze all day long. So I put this on this morning. I was like, oh, this is what I'm going to wear to those tournaments. <laughs> Along with all my woolens, right? Well, I actually finished something over New Year's. Um, it's the thing I had to gift on the needles. <laughs> oh, don't hung, don't knock at me. Oh, it's just Brian the mailman. Okay. Um, so I finished Campbell's sweater. This is what I gave her for Christmas that I was unable to finish prior to Christmas. I did finish it. So here it is. This is her ranunculus. Um, there you can see some of the texture and I knit this for her in Barocco Mystico which is just lovely oh it's just like oh it's it's light and lovely I mean it is knit at a looser gauge it's on a 10 but um which is a loose gauge for this yarn but um let me get close on the color so it's like a dark forest green with little bits of orange and gold which looks great on her, my ginger. So uh, she's super stoked to have this, to take back to school with her. And she's tried it on, it fits her perfect. It's it's all around just like, yay! I unfortunately finished this on the first. No wait, what's today? Yeah, on the yesterday was the first. My gosh, it's way too early in the year for me to already be confused. I finished it, so I didn't get it to count it towards my um, my goal. I'm going to talk about my goal in just a second. Um, I just want to show you a couple other things. Okay, this is something I haven't shown you yet. This is my current design for the Under the Sea Good Vibes Yarn Tour. So this is the tour that just wrapped up, like just wrapped up. And my box had beautiful yarn by Murky Depths. And I designed this shawl under the sea. Um, and it's this subtly striped shawl with little bobble accents. And it's knit in one skein each of two colors of Murky Depth's um, Deep Sock. And the shawl appropriately is called Deep. So it's not available yet to people who were not on the tour, but it will be. I just wanted to hold it up and hold it still for a second so you could see it. Um, it will be in May. And if you want, we've got deep sock right now. If you wanted to just score, you know, two skeins that you think would look good together and just have it ready for when the pattern becomes available to the general public. Um, 
and or if you were on the tour and you used your um, exclusive colors, that's what my shawl is designed in, is exclusive colors, because that's what we do at the Good Vibes Yarn Tour. We get exclusive um, Good Vibes colorways from our dyers. Then um, you could also score some other deep sock over there from us. So if you if you didn't catch what I was hinting at, the Good Vibes Tour is just got one week left to grab your ticket if you want to get on board this winter. It's a really great diversion when the days are kind of gray and dreary. Um, we'll send you three boxes full of exclusive colorways of hand dyed yarn, and we do souvenirs from the locations we're visiting, and we do snacks, and we do um, live zooms with behind the scenes uh, videos from dyers and interviews with the dyers, and it's just a whole lot of fun. Uh, we always have such a good time. It's me, Janet from String Theory Yarn Company, and Cadence from Fuzzy Goat Yarns, and um, we kind of love to hang out together and we just want to invite everybody to hang out with us is basically how it goes. So it's not too late. You can still grab your ticket and hop on board the winter tour, which is um, our favorite knitting getaways. And mine, I'll give you a hint, is like a snowy mountainous type of place. So um, yeah, check it out. You can see all of the details both on my website or on the Good Vibes Yarn Tour website, goodvibesyarntour.com. Um, okay, so a couple quick restock notices. We just got restocked on Marla and Sammy from Manos. I think a lot of you must have set um, um, back in stock alerts for this because it was just we received it and boom, 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 the order started coming in. But if you were waiting for this to come back, well, we were pretty picked over. Um, it's back. It's so beautifully soft. I just, I can't get over how soft it is. These two together are so gorgeous. I happen to be holding Ficus, that's the multi, and Kale. I just grabbed these two as I was walking by. So um, if you've been waiting for that, go check it out. Then we also just got fully restocked on our favorite stitch stoppers. So these are those fun things that you can put on the ends of your um, needles, on the tips of your needles to keep your stitches from falling off when you're putting your project down. Um, look at these cute little cat paws. <laughs> so I love these. How about this one, you guys? Fresh out of Fs. There are a lot of naughty ones to choose from if you um, are feeling a little bit sassy in 2024. And then I grabbed these. There's a bunch of different colors. And they don't look like much. I know they're hexagons, but they glow in the dark. So there's a lot of different, like, kind of glow in the dark. You like green, yellow, and this is the white. Um, so they're just really fun because you can find them in the dark. So check out all of There's a ton more. I, I only brought three over. There's bicycles, and there's cats, and there's owls, and there's gnomes, and there's yarn skeins, and, ha like, oh, and, the yeah, Julia said these are specifically for larger needles, these paws. See, they got like nice big solid holes in them. So, um, okay, let's talk about, oh, really quick, one more thing I need to tell you about. It's the new year, it's a new month, which means we have two new exclusive colorways from our favorite dyers. So this year, Knitted With Her Story is focusing entirely on flowers. So they're focusing on important women and they get, and their stories and then floor, flowers to, like inspired by these women. This month, <clears throat> Lily of the Valley. How gorgeous is this color? It is absolutely beautiful. It just screams new, um, a new season, a new chapter, right? With this kind of like light, beautiful green little speckles of yellow. So check that out, Lily of the Valley. And then Tasha's color of the month, hue of the month, hue of the moment for January is spicy ramen. Winter comfort food, right? How gorgeous is this color? It's like an orange pink with little flecks. Get you the spicy parts. So spicy ramen is available on Tosh Marina Light or Tosh DK. And, um, yeah, I, I can't find where the photo is, Julia. I was, I was really trying to do that before the chat. I saved it. I saved it, but I saved it somewhere safe, really, really safe. Like 
so safe I couldn't find it. So I've asked um, Laura Jean and Shannon to send me the, the photos again of this colorway. Cause so in the moment it says um, coming soon, the photo. Now you know what it looks like if you're watching this video, but uh, we'll get the actual photo added um, as soon as they send that to me because I lost it. Um, this does remind me, this is like hot Cheetos right here. This is like Takis. My kids are obsessed with Takis. Um, this is the talkie colorway right here, AKA spicy ramen. Okay. Now, now can we talk about it? Yes, it's time. See, I'm going by a list. <laughs> We're having a January, a winter knit along, winter knit along. And we really want you to join us. So what we're going to be making is tea with jam and bread by Heidi Kermeyer. And it is a really comfy, um, beautiful on everybody pullover sweater, a little bit on the longer side with two front pockets. And it's a raglan, it's top down. I mean, it's very much all about being cozy, comfortable and easy in this winter season. So we have put together a whole blog post and by we, I mean, Julia, <laughs> thank you, Julia, full of all of the details about tea with jam and bread, the sizes it's available from kids sizes all the way up to men's sizes. Uh, the recommended yarns that we are um, recommending from here in the shop, which I'm going to go through in just a second. All of that info, including the dates of the knit along itself, it's going to kick off on January 21st and it's all going to be held on Zoom. So you can attend from anywhere. You can join us from anywhere. If you can't make one of the live sessions, we're going to record them and send them out to anyone who has signed up to participate. So yeah, there's really no reason not to do it. So Julia is going to pop the link in. She already did it. At the bottom of that blog post with all of the information is the sign up link. It's really important you sign up there even if you already get emails from us because that's going to be the separate list that's just the people interested in the knit along. So when you sign up and you add your name to the knit along list, you'll also get an email from us with your 10% coupon off um, the knit along suggested yarns. Now here's one of those perks of being in not another club. Club members, you actually get 20% off. You need to use the coupon code that came out in your email yesterday, but um, club members, you get 20% off. Everyone else gets 10%. If you think that sounds unfair and you want to be in this so-called club, uh, go get your name on the wait list because it opens up uh, registration for the, or enrollment in the club opens up again in mid-July. So uh, there are a lot of perks to being in the club and this is one of them. So we have a lot of recommended yarns. Um, I knit this sweater maybe 13-ish years ago, 12, 13 years ago. I can't remember. Oh, actually, it might have been 10 years ago, 2013. Anyway, the picture you'll see on the blog post, that's me 10 years ago. Uh, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, wow, she's looking different and has blonde hair. That's because it's a very old picture. That sweater, I love it. One of my top five finished objects ever. It was stolen by my 20 year old. I know. We almost need a support group for knitters whose daughters turn into lovely young women and steal all of their sweaters, steal their favorite sweaters. This is what happened to me. This is why I had to knit her her own for Christmas. So she'd stop taking mine. So I don't actually have it here to show you, which is fine because it's in a yarn by a company that doesn't even exist anymore. And we're all about making a new one now. Anyway, I'm not the same size I was in that picture. So <laughs> here we go. So I am still undecided. I'm going to show you my top contenders, but we're going to talk more yarn next Tuesday, next week's lunch chat. The hostess with the mostess, Miss Ingrid, who will be hosting our knit along sessions, she will be joining me live here next Tuesday at noon. And we're going to go in depth into all things yarn um, for this knit along. But I'm just going to give a quick breezy once over on our recommended yarns. Okay. We have Rios. We just got in the brand new Zodiac colors from Malabrigo on the Rios base. This is Aries. 
So check those out because they are beautiful and they're new colors. And it's always fun when somebody like Malabrigo re, uh, releases a bunch of new colors. So this is one of our recommended yarns. We're looking at the worsted weight range, basically. The gauge on the sweater is 19 stitches over four inches in stockinette. So there you have it. Then we've got Tosh Vintage. So you'll need uh, two to three colors. The, the sweater's made for three colors. It's got a main color and two contrasting large wide stripes. Um, and you could turn that into two colors if you preferred, but um, three is what it's written for. Then we have the other vintage, Barocco Vintage. This would be a great option and it would be a really reasonably priced option. This is the yarn that I made Campbell's sweater out of, Mystico. Beautiful, beautiful. It would be kind of lighter. It's still in the proper gauge. It would not be as breezy as Campbell's sweater that I showed you in green because that was on a much larger needle. This is closer to the needle that this yarn calls for, or it is actually like the needle and the gauge that this yarn calls for. So um, Mystico would be gorgeous. Barocco Remix would be really, really good. We're gonna pretend this is just regular Remix. I'm actually holding the chunky in my hand, but you can get the Remix on our website. This is one of my top two right now. Um, I don't have a sweater out of this yarn. I like the way it feels. And I just think it would be really wearable, especially in this kind of longer sweater. So this one is really, ugh, this is one I might be using. Um, another great option is Barocco Renew. This is a wool cashmere um, viscose nylon blend. It's all recycled fibers from the garment industry. It's so cool. Um, <clears throat> Barocco Renew right here. And I actually, we just got this yarn in from Universal called Penna. And it is so soft and lovely. It's a brushed alpaca kind of lace weight. It's Surrey. Renew and Penna together. If there was a three color combo that I could come up with that I would really like, I this is another, mm, I, okay, I lied. I have three contenders. I have three. <laughs> Um, so this is another option I'm considering. I, I haven't actually explored to see if there's colorways that I would like in that combination, but it just it sounds so cozy to use Renew and Penna together. This is actually the, the original second choice I was going to tell you, Talara. So this is what I designed the, my Talara cowl out of, and I really liked knitting with it. It's 100% Baby Llama. Baby Llama? Yeah, Baby Llama chain net construction. Um, there's one of these on Ravelry that somebody made in this yarn. It's really nice looking. So I don't know, but apparently it's going to be a Barocco sweater for me though, because my top three choices are all Barocco yarns, Remix, Talara, and then maybe the Renew and Universal Penna. I don't know. I don't know. I reserve the right to change my mind. Okay. So also in the list, one of my favorite yarns, American U, Worsted Tweed. Um, this is what I knit my Ruth sweater out of, and I absolutely loved knitting with this yarn every second. I, it was so delicious. Then we have Dream and Color Riley or Dream and Color Classy. Both of these would work. These would actually intermix with each other just fine as well. So um, if there was colors that you liked, you know, from each one, this is one that you could you could kind of like mix and match. Lang Enya, what I knit my silver bells out of. A little bit of a brushed effect. This is a alpaca, yeah, alpaca blend. So that one, I originally was gonna do that. Um, I was really leaning towards that, but then since I made silver bells out of that, I think that I won't. Um, and then last, but of course not least, is the Woolstock family, the worsted. I grabbed one of the big 150 gram skeins. This would make a great main color. And then you could go with the smaller skeins for your contrast or just do all of the smaller skeins. Whatever colors, you know, basically called to you, that's how it works. So that was a kind of a really quick roundup of all of the yarns we're recommending for our winter knit along. Remember, it doesn't start until the 21st. There's still plenty of time. You can tune in next Tuesday at noon live right back here where we are um, to see Ingrid and I go over in more detail things about size and yarn choices and all of that. So, okay, to wrap up this today's video, I took a peek at my own um, Ravelry Challenge progress. 
So if you don't know what that means, um, in Ravelry, in your projects page, all the way to the right of the top tabs is a little, it says challenge. A lot of people don't necessarily know that it's there. If you click on it, you can put in a goal for your year. So we started doing this at Not Another Hat where we would have people send us our send us their goals and then we would check in and we have a Facebook group for it and all of that. Um, and then report back at the end of the year, see how we did. There is no right or wrong. There is no, um, I do pull some prizes. We do some prize giveaways, but you don't win or you don't lose. It is just strictly for shits and giggles. And so in the last several years, my goal has been 40. I have not ever made it. <laughs> I've come closer some years than others, but this year it was 29. So that's okay. I'll take it. That's 73%. Um, if I had finished Campbell's sweater a day earlier, it would have been 30. Still, it's fine. I'm perfectly happy with my progress. So what I did is I broke it down. I'm going to give you a by the numbers. Two, my, my 2023 by the numbers, the knitting numbers, I should say. All right, I made one pair of socks. Now that's a little bit misleading because I started like four pairs, but I finished one. <laughs> so I do have some in um, very near states of completion. They should probably turn up on my 2024 completed list. Um, I made one mitten, single mitten. Yes, that's correct. I didn't make its pair. <laughs> it was for the 12 days of Knitmas and I wanted to show off that comfy gusseted mitten. You might've seen it. Um, and... I just did the one. <laughs> so one single mitten. I did like two and a half blankets. So I finished an old blanket. I knit. Um, oh, I finished my Christmas afghan. I made my, I mean, I crocheted my Christmas afghan. And then I did five squares, the assembly and the border on the team. Awesome afghan, which was, I think, our February pattern release. So that was quite a lot of knitting, even though I didn't make the whole afghan. So Jenny, I agree. Socks should be two. <laughs> um, so then let's see. Hats. Five hats. I did five hats this year. And um, so shawls, wraps, scarves, cowls, etc. I did 13 of those. And some of those were really large. Some of those were sweater sized. So 13 shawls. That's up there. I only did six sweaters, Julia. It's really not that much. But um, six sweaters, I mean, they were Sarah-sized sweaters, so, you know, go figure. So that's how, that is my breakdown. But one more stat for you. Of those things, I designed 14 patterns. So I'm pretty proud of that. 14 patterns in 12 months is a lot. They're not sweaters, I know. They're accessories, but all the same. Um, that's still, I th I'm proud of that. So, <laughs> Here's to 2024. Here's to guess who set her goal at 40 again? This girl. <laughs> yep, I went for 40 again. Um, I am nothing if not stubborn. I'm going to get there someday. So um, if you set your goal this past year, send us your results to customer service at notanotherhat.com and we will start compiling everyone's results and then we will do a live drawing somewhere at sometime this month, probably by the, around the end of the month, to draw some prizes for everybody who participated. So, um, And everyone who's been posting lately in the um, Not Another Hat Ravelry Challenge group, thank you for giving us your updates. I love seeing it. I love seeing everybody, like some people are super overachievers. Some people didn't make their goals. Some people forgot they even set a goal and they're going to try again next year. Lee, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Lee Wheeler. Sorry, not Lee Jermaine. <laughs> so it's all for fun. It's really just for fun. And it's just one more way to keep us all connected and encouraging each other and cheering each other on. So that's it for today. And... Um, I hope you have a lovely week. Be sure to check out all the details about the knit along. Sign up down there at the bottom. And then join me next week with Ingrid. Uh, it's always a good time. There's a lot of giggling involved whenever we're on the camera together. And we will talk all about our winter knit along um, in more detail. <laughs> so, All right, everyone. Take care and Happy New Year.